Hi, if you're a fan of global eclectic bohemian decor, but you've recently run out of bones, you're gonna love today's episode. Welcome back to another episode of Laugh Cry DIY. I am your host, Katie, and today I wanna to share some very exciting news. I have fallen in love with a piece of decor. Lately, I'm obsessed with anything that hangs on a wall. Wall sconces, wall lanterns, wall hanging planters. And in addition to any sort of wall sconce decor, I have also been in love with bone inlay furniture. It's a style of folk art from India. It's absolutely beautiful. Oftentimes the furniture comes in different types of color, so it has a really bold contrast. So it gives it a really beautiful bohemian look. And I've really wanted to do some sort of bone inlay inspired piece lately. And on a recent trip to the thrift store, I found the perfect piece. Hi. So here is my absolutely beautiful thrifted wall sconce. It was $7 at Goodwill. I absolutely love the shape. I love the mirror. I love the little cutout. This is perfect for like a small planter or a candle. And since I recently got a piece that was very similar that I kept in its original wood state, I wanted to give this one a makeover that I've had in my mind for a while. Unfortunately, shockingly, I am fresh out of bones. So today I thought we would stencil on a faux bone inlay pattern to turn this beauty from a sweet princess into a glamorous queen. Step one, we gotta wash her cause she is nasty. I really, really regret starting my channel in summer. Anyways, this baby is beautiful and clean and I have taped off the mirror and now I'm gonna just give her a light sand and we're gonna spray paint her. Is this competitive sanding? Not even looking, kind of an expert. Really for a piece like this, it's mostly important to get any of the shiny varnish off because that will really prevent your paint from sticking. And then we will get to spray painting. Now, as we know, I've done a lot of black and white designs on my channel. See the uh, console table I did and the washi tape vanity makeover I did. But today I wanna do a color and that color that I have been feeling in my heart is blue. And I picked up this. Have you seen these? They're called shortcuts. They're tiny, adorable little baby spray bottles. And they're perfect when you just have that one little project. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be enough to cover the whole wall sconce, I'm gonna call it. Um, if not, that would be very on brand to have to go to the store and get more. All right, friends, it's a new day, a new me. It is 10 degrees cooler, and we have a beautiful blue sconce now. That little baby shot did cover this whole thing, and I'm so grateful. So now it is time to stencil. So at first I was going to freestyle a pattern on here, and then I realized that not all freestyles need to happen. M&M. So I got two types of stencils. I also think I plan in a future episode to do some stenciling on furniture. <gasps> Can you imagine? Now. Am I proud of the fact that I am trying to pay homage to a beautiful Indian folk art with Martha Stewart brand stencils? No. I'm sorry. Some of these are sort of peel and stick on style. Um, so I'm just gonna start doing a border around and then kind of fill in some designs here and there. And I think this one's perfect to start right there. So let's do that one. Ready? Oh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I noticed that a lot of these types of pieces have like, they all have a specific border. I do love using this stencil because I can just put this right to the edge and I know it's gonna be even all along. It's a moment of hell. Oh no! I'm actually surprised. Despite how messy and how impatient I am with stenciling, 
Um, I'm actually surprised how good I think it looks. I've decided to start to freehand some items here. And I'm taking a cue from junior high me, who is very into nail art. And uh, one easy way to get like a circle, perfect circle little daughter is to cut a Q-tip in half and then use that side. So I'm doing some little hand dots all around. Is this an interesting video? God, I don't know. And now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to go in with like tools um, and try to clean up the design. Okay, wow, so I just sprayed a little bit in here and I'm using a toothpick. Actually working really well. Oh God, I'm still recording. All right, I've done touch-ups, it is drying, and now I think the only thing left to do is give you your grand reveal. Well, that was today's episode. I'm not gonna lie, for as covered in paint as I am and as many mistakes as were made, I am absolutely astounded by how beautiful this is. So I hope you're inspired to maybe find a jewel in your thrift store, make it a magic mirror, cast curses and spells from it. So if you liked this, like it. And if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. And if you want me to set my hair on fire, you don't even have to ask. So until next time, bye.